Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a square A, B, C, D. A semicircle is inscribed in a square. One side of the square is tangent to the semicircle. In this point of tangency, it divides the side of the square into two equal parts. The other side of the square passes through two points on the semicircle. The square intersects a point on the semicircle at a point that is two units below of point A. Find the area of the square. But before we go to the solution, may I request you to please like this video. Okay, so for the first method, we are going to use similarity of triangles and Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so for the first thing that we have to do is we need to label this figure. So we have we label this side of the square as S. And, and since this the whole length of the square is S, then this length should be S minus 2. And this is also S minus 2. And this two lengths, since they are congruent, as it is given in the problem, then this is S over 2. And next is we project a line from this point to that point, and we actually form a right triangle. Let's label this point as E and F. So now we have right triangle EFC. Okay, so next is we draw a line from this midpoint of A and B down to the center of the semicircle. And since that is a line from the semicircle and also goes to the center of the semicircle, then this whole length is the radius we say that this is r. And since this is 2, if that whole length is r, then this smaller length is r minus 2. Next is we label the other points. So let's label this as g. And this is h. And we label the center as O. Okay, so next step is we use proportionality between the two triangles HFO and EFC. So for if we focus on triangle HFO, we can see this length R minus 2 for HO and S minus 2 for EC. So we can say that r minus 2 over this length ec which is s minus 2 is equal to if we focus now on the hypotenuse the corresponding leg for i mean the corresponding hypotenuse for hfo is r and the corresponding hypotenuse for triangle efc is R. Then if we simplify this, we have cancel this R, then we have 1 half. Then we have R minus 2 all over S minus 2. We say that this is 2R minus 4. If we cross multiply, then this is equal to S minus 2. Then simplifying further, we have 2R is equal to s minus 2 plus 4. So we can say that 2r is equal to s plus 2. Okay, so next thing that we have to do is we need to focus on triangle EFC or the bigger right triangle. So for triangle EFC, we have 
y e square plus ec square is equal to cf square and ef is actually equal to s and that is square plus ec square will be s minus 2 square equal to cf which is 2r but actually 2r is equal to s plus 2 then we just replace that with s plus 2 s plus 2 if we simplify the left hand side we have this becomes s squared minus 4s plus 4 equal to s squared plus 4s plus 4. Then this s squared cancels out. And this 4 cancels out also. Then we have s squared is equal to 8s. If you put the negative 4s on the left side to the right hand side of the equation. So s squared is equal to 4s. But we need to get this 8 to the left. So we have a quadratic equation. So for this quadratic equation, we can factor this out. s times s minus 8 is equal to 0. So we have actually two solutions for this quadratic equation. We have s is equal to 0 and s minus 8 is equal to 0. We have here s is equal to 8. So, so for the final step, since we got the length of the side of the square, then the area is just simply s square and the area is equal to 8 units you need to square and the area will be equal to 64 square units and that is our answer for the first method okay so for the second method is we are going to use the tangent secant theorem uh, given the segments of a secant segment and a tangent segment which share an endpoint outside the circle the product of the lengths of the secant segments and its external tangent and equals the square of the length of the tangent segment which means that in this figure PA times PB is equal to PC square which is the tangent segment okay so but in our case in our problem the external point is A this is A and the external tangent length is s over 2. And the external secant length is 2. And the secant length, the whole secant length is actually the side of the square, which is s. So if we apply this theorem and using the quantities in given in our figure then we have s over 2 which is the length of the tangent segment and that needs to be squared is equal to the length of the outer secant that is 2 and the length of the whole secant segment and that is s okay so if we simplify this we have s squared over 4 equal to 2s then we can simply cancel this s here and we have actually s is equal to if you cross multiply we have s is equal to 8 okay so again for the final step the area of any square is is equal to the square of the side so area is equal to 8 square so area is equal to 64 square units once again and we got 
the same answer. Okay, so for the last method, we are going to use the double angle identities for tangent. And the formula for that would be tangent 2 beta equal to 2 times tangent beta all over 1 minus tangent square beta. Okay, so for the first step for this method, we are to find first the tan we can find tangent beta. And tangent beta is actually the opposite over the adjacent side. But tangent beta, if we focus on triangle AGC, the opposite side of angle beta is the segment AG, which is equal to S over 2. And the adjacent side is the segment AC, which measures the side of the square, and that is S. So tangent beta is actually we can cancel this S, then tangent beta is equal to 1 half. Next is we need to focus on triangle EFC. And again, we need to find another tangent, tangent 2 beta in this case. It is also equal to opposite side over the adjacent. But for the angle 2 beta, the opposite side would be equal to this portion E F and that is a measurement of S and the adjacent side is this one E C and that measures S minus 2 so tangent 2 beta is equal to S all over S minus 2 Okay, so now that we know the values of tangent beta and tangent 2 beta, we can actually use this formula. So if we use this formula, tangent 2 beta is equal to S all over S minus 2 equal to 2 times tangent beta which is equal to 1 half and 1 minus tangent square beta equal to one half square. Okay. So, but if you simplify this denominator on the right hand side, you have one minus one over four, and this becomes three over four. And on the numerator, we simply cancel the two and the two here, and we have here one. So, if this is 3 fourths, then 1 over 3 fourths, then you have to simply invert the 3 fourths and that becomes 4 thirds. And we just copy the left hand side. So, we have S all over S minus 2. And we simply cross multiply. Then we have 3S equal to 4 s minus 8 then if we simply put this 3 s to the right hand side we have 4 s minus 3 s and this 8 to the left hand side we have 8 so we have s is equal to 8 so knowing again the value of s we, so we now find the area Area is equal to a square for any square. So area is equal to 8 square. That is area is equal to 64 square units. And this is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.